We've been living off-grid in this cabin for almost a year now. And today is the day that we start building our geodesic dome off-grid greenhouse. This is where we're building the greenhouse. And to get to this point, we had to excavate the land, we had to trench water lines through it, and gravel the pad. We plan to be as self-sufficient as possible out here in the woods. This greenhouse will allow us to grow our own food 365 days a year through all four seasons, including the harsh, cold Canadian winter. Growing your own food tastes so much better. The two of us are gonna tackle it completely on our own. Let's get it. All right, we need 20 pieces of Raybar at 24 inches in length. The steel. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Do you want to measure that? Make sure it's good. It's good. Or are you just that good? That makes twenty. Good job. All right. Eight feet seven and a half inches is the radius. Okay, so stretch a radius of linen twine toward the true north, not magnetic north. Okay, now we're gonna find north, the true north, and then that is going to be where the north facing wall will be, which is a very important component in the build. <laughs> it gets reflectix too, right? Yes. Oh, I don't know how many times Crystal has read these instructions. Tell your mom to hurry up. Say, mom, hurry up. Please, mom, hurry the heck up, mom. First stake. First stake. That's the north, true north star. And this is where we go. No, just the... <laughs> what? Just the true north. True north star. The north pole. Okay, bear, you kind of are on my greenhouse pad. Okay, bear. Okay, come on, bear. Thank you. <laughs> This part of the build is super important as you need to have your exact circle. That way you know where to put your base. And that way when you get to the top of the dome, life is easy. Okay, that took quite a while, but we finally got the radius measured and the true north, and we were able to make our way all the way around the outside circumference of the growing dome. We're kind of funny. We can put a metal roof on like that, but <laughs> when it comes to reading instructions, Instructions are tough. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, should we go now? Yeah, let's hit, let's hit the road. Let's go. We're going on a field trip. <laughs> Take us, Miss <Ms>. Frizzle. <laughs> Just kidding, your hair looks nice today. <laughs> we have the same hair, it's true. Must be hiding behind some big rocks. Right. Porter's trying out the drone, What's and he was saying, "Well, how hard is it?" I was like, "Well, if you can drive an excavator and all these big trucks, you can certainly fly a drone." I have to say, every time we come here, it is equally as exciting. It is so vast, my favorite word, and yeah, the area is just absolutely massive. You feel like a little ant down here. Tons of stone and rock and gravel in every shape and size, and big machines. It's like watching a TV show, but you're here in real life. Glad we can bring you all here too. That is awesome. Check it out. Lots of gravel. Thanks, Porter. You're welcome. It's a beautiful thing. Cute little gravel, she said. It's such cute so little gravel. Can. This is such cute little gravel. I know, it's perfect. We don't have any of this at the home. At the home. At the cabin. <laughs> the home stay. Wrap it now? up like a gift. <laughs> what? Wrap it up like a gift. Like a gift. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Porter. you, Porter. Have a good day. 
Have fun. Stay cool. <laughs> Stop. Beautiful. Home sweet home. All right. Wow. I've been working on my greenhouse all day long. Cause my biggie likes to go. He's perfectionist, even on step number one. Which isn't even anything. Okay, so reason number one for putting a gravel ring foundation underneath of this dome is to drain the water away. And it'll extend the life of the dome itself, which is super exciting. So we're obviously doing that. And we have three quarter inch stone. Okay, so one of the first things I learned is we're gonna make a line from stake to stake. It's nine inches in width, three inches on the outside of this, and the other six inches on the inside of the dome. Boom! Full circle! Full circle. Good job! Woo! <laughs> Alrighty. Looks good. Yeah, it does. Looks fabulous. It's like literally the smallest step, just like stakes in the ground and gravel. And we're like, oh my God, we got a greenhouse. Well, it took so long to get here, right? <laughs> True. It's taken us a long time though, because we really just wanted to do it completely right. Like we wanted to have water in here. We want to have electricity in here. So I'm glad we didn't build it in November. Right? Right. Am I right? Right. Cool. I also think this is a really good time to update you all and let you know that my ankle was elevated and iced for how many days? A lot of days. We took a lot of days resting and Jasmine did a lot of jobs, like both all of my jobs and her jobs combined. So thank you, honey, for taking care of me and doing everything. And we've just been taking it. You're like going at my pace, which is really nice. We're just going at a little bit of a slower pace than normal, but getting things done still. So we're doing good. It was just a sprain. Are you tired or what? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Give me your energy, girl. I want your energy. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. Arr. Do you want a piggyback? <laughs> piggyback. The best part about assembling the dome is that Arctic Acres send us every single piece. When you purchase a dome kit, they come with all of the hardware, the, even the door. <laughs> even this. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Yeah, so we really had to get very, very few things from the hardware store on our own, which, if you know us at all, saves us a heck of a lot of time because we go to the hardware store like three times a week. <laughs> we are building the walls to the foundation of this beautiful growing dome. It's 8.21 p.m. We had a late start, and to be fair, we had to make a run to the quarry. We saw our friend Porter, we get chatting. But now that it's summer, how can you complain? We've got sunlight for another half an hour or so, so we might as well use every moment. Am I right? You're right. You're always right. Because the wife is always right. <laughs> okay, look everyone. Already pre-drilled for you. Yep. Wild. Thanks, Arctic Acres. Beautiful! We love this now, eh? Now that we got a rhythm, hmm? you love it now. Although we have to bring out the miter saw, which is kind of nice. Eh? Yeah, like it's all pre-cut, pre-drilled. Yeah. Everything is just perfectly ready for you, you to build. You just gotta figure out the instructions. Good morning, everyone! We are back on the job site. My boss is currently checking over the next step of our instructions. All the walls are up and we're ready to bring this geodesic dome to life. We managed to build all of the walls last night. Now that the walls are built, we are moving on to putting the siding on and then we are gonna be building up. You're hot, eh? There is not a freaking breeze in town. I'm gonna pass out. I was actually just like looking at you, not gonna lie. <laughs> Dripping? No, you just look so good right now with that, like everything. Looking so good. Getting steamy no. on site. <laughs> uh, oh, I learned something. You hammered him from the other side. It's easier. I just have to get up. Oh my goodness, is that hot, eh? But these 
These walls are very easy to attach. We're using our radius line and pulling it to the every outside corner and it is in fact lining up very well. Just using carriage bolts here to attach to them and clamps. So super simple. All of the tools, everything metal, everything is just in direct sun and so incredibly hot. It. Touch that, I dare you. No, I'm not. Do it. All right, now we get to skip this section because it is the door. I really wanted to have the door right here or right here to be symmetrical with the house, That's but the it's the north facing wall and I'm not allowed to do that. But because in cool. more importantly, you should probably have your door where it works. And make the greenhouse functioning. There's a lot of actually things that matter when it comes to making a greenhouse. It's not just, like there's so many things. like. What, you know, everything to do with like north, south, east, west, the wind, all of these things, where it's placed, how much sun it gets. Like sometimes it can get too much sun in this. Yeah, so that's why we left these trees. A few moments later. Oh, good job. I'm going dizzy. Super job. Woo! Let's go cool down. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We're able to spice up our AG1. Now that we have a solar fridge and freezer, we have some beautiful ice and ice? lemon, baby. AG1 by Athletic Greens makes it easy to get high quality nutrients on a daily basis, 75 and on the go. I wish this door would go in as smooth as AG1 goes down. <laughs> AG1 honestly makes me feel alive. We've been taking it for over two years now and it has increased my energy levels, also helped with sleep, which, you know me, I'm a Nighthawk. It's a one and done for me, it's just peace of mind. It's almost as easy as me walking around this circle. It's one scoop and eight ounces of water every single day, paleo, keto, and vegan friendly. Looking level. AG1 is the best decision we make every single day. It's what powers us through all of these projects. And if you click the link in the description below, you'll get five free travel packs and a year worth supply of a vitamin D dropper. With your first purchase. With your first purchase! Last wall! Are we ready to get to work now? Yeah, and we're starting with leveling. Icky. Fine. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna try and compact all the gravel to a nice ring and get all of the corners matching distance to the radius and then we can start building up, finally. Woo! It takes so long to get here. <laughs> it does, it just does. Everything takes longer than you think it does. This is literally the most tedious part. And you know, I have a perfectionist on my hand, but that's good because we need to be super precise at this point or else when we meet at the top, nothing's gonna meet. Now we need to attach these walls to the actual foundation gravel pad by using Raybar. I'm getting Jack first. I'm living my best life. I wake up with the sunrise. It does not look a thing like Strong! Even though my arm is the size of this ray bar, I'm killing it! <laughs> you look like Kylie Jenner cutting a cucumber man. <laughs> if you're gonna swing this way, this hand goes to the bottom, this hand goes to the top, the top. Switch. I can't swing like that. No, that is so weird. I can't hold it like this. Oh my god, just... That's the wrong hand. See you later. Jasmine is absolutely killing it with the ray bar. Rebar, ray bar, tomato, tomato. It's gross. See it? How do you oh, go? Oh no. Yikes. A couple more left. You got it, babe. Absolutely crushing it. We gotta put her to work more often. Crystal is finishing us off on the last one because this actually really hurts. I'm being a baby right now. All right, girl. Watch bring your glass. Us, bring us home. Bring us home. I want to get walls up tonight. Yo, this camera is burning. You got it, girl. I'm loving, I'm loving the swing. <laughs> 
come on. What's it stuck on? <laughs> nice, that was a good one. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and on a good hit. Come on, lady. <laughs> I'm so deliriously hot. We're losing some fuel, but Jazzy's got us covered. There you go. Yum. One burger, one sausage. Thank you. Damn. Can't forget about dessert. Are the corners good enough for you there, perfectionist? It was like a movie, the way the storm rolled in. Yo, it's really coming down, eh? I did not expect this. Poor Izzy, she's so sad. Okay, this is definitely the most exciting part of the build thus far. We are creating the structure that will be the actual dome. We've started right here. We're doing A triangles and B triangles and we're using different types of hubs, hexagonal hubs and pentagonal hubs, I believe is what they're calling them. And I think this is going to be a little bit like a puzzle. Time to bring it home. So our door is here. So we have A and then we have B and then we need to go A and we gotta go B. A, B, A, B, A, B, and then we're done. You come and battle my case. I win the battle that I won't win the war. You leave me lost in a daze. Unstoppable, yeah, unstoppable. We're flying along now, hey? Are we ever? It's getting real fun. There's a lot more motivation now that we can see some things. Oh, yeah. Not looking at the same ring for the yeah. whole friggin' time. Yeah. All right, we're following the pattern fairly well. Hexagon, six holes. Pentagon, five. Big triangle, small triangle. Big triangle, small triangle. Hexagon hubs on the bottom layer should be parallel with the B base strut. Pentagon hubs, same situation, parallel with the B base strut. All other struts should fit and line up perfectly. This assumes the foundation wall is verified level. Woo! Check this out. I just took a step back. It's looking so good and it's so cool. I just love when you can like finally see it take shape. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. This is it. Like, Look this is at exciting. it. Staring at this for far too long. If we didn't pay as much attention on the bottom, then this top part wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, it wouldn't be. We're having fun now. We are. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're cruising, and that it's true. It's all because we actually made the bottom we level and perfect. Time, yeah, like yeah. perfection. Woo! Gosh, I have a perfectionist. <laughs> My dome would not look circular. We like conk. <laughs> Good job, that looks so good. It's super easy to maneuver, like I'm very impressed with this. Yeah, like this has been a really fast build today. Like, the, yeah, like how much we've got done already? Yeah, we're at the top. Woo, woo! What's next? <laughs> the last level. The last level. That's what I call plant-based butter. Smooth as butter. Smooth as butter, honey. The next part is super cool. So basically, all you have to do is you see this right here? This, we're just gonna take it apart because this is the door. And we're gonna put it up top and it's that simple. Ready to go to Crystal? I'm almost ready. I'm an instruction follower, so I need to read them first. Oh my goodness, she's going on another instruction. Come on, lady. Let's just get this thing done, lady. So we can have all the food for you. Because food makes you happy. That's true. Especially green food. That's true. And Burger King. That's very true. <laughs>
next part is installing the polycarbonate sheets which make this dome a greenhouse. They are multi-walled, half inch thick triangles, which actually keep all of the wind, snow, and pests out, but let all of the sun in. Right now. <laughs>